Dear Mythbusters, is it really true that it's impossible to eat a spoonful of cinnamon without drinking water. Okay, I am not into this one. I mean, cinnamon is not only an irritant, but it's also hydrophilic. It absorbs water like crazy. So consequently, wouldn't it be virtually impossible to eat a spoonful without drinking? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's set up on the shop floor and give it a try. It's a dangerous internet phenomenon. To spoon a mouthful of cinnamon without water is supposedly impossible and definitely painful. It's already sent scores of people to the hospital. So with a medic standing by, the team gets set to swallow. Now maybe you're thinking, spoonful of cinnamon? What's so dangerous about that? Well, because it's hydrophilic, it dries up your saliva instantly, which can cause coughing and vomiting. Plus, if you accidentally inhale it, it can cause breathing difficulties, throat irritation, and even pneumonia. Carrie's first up. I've never seen you hesitate, so. Ah, <laughs> on me. Holy crap. Do you want some water? You okay? Yeah, all right. Not only could Carrie not swallow, but her near choking fit illustrates that this is not child's play. For a second there, I couldn't breathe. In fact, you know what, the uvula that causes the gag reflex? It's actually cinnamon coated right now. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing this hard, but man, that's funny. Oh, laugh now, Tori. Your turn will come. But first, it's Grant. Seriously? Who's taking a moment to steal his famously not so steely stomach. Okay, ready? I'll be so impressed if you can do this. Yeah, you can. Look at that. Kind of meditating and like trying to put saliva no, into it. No, I think he's it. trying to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh man, did I look like that? No. Uh -oh. oh God. I think he's going to his unhappy place. <laughs> my strategy was to keep it in my mouth and try and just build up the saliva, build up the saliva, but it's just too much. It's too much cinnamon. Maybe it would be possible with uh, half that amount or a quarter that amount, but a tablespoonful, you can't do it. All right. Tori is about to find out for sure, and he does have the slight advantage of seeing two failed strategies in action. Oh, look at that. Into the cheek. Chewing tobacco style. He's doing good so far. He really is. Tori has squirreled the cinnamon into his cheeks and is trying to work up the saliva he needs to overcome its absorbent qualities. Hang in there, buddy. But can he go the distance? Still going strong. He's like, he's like at least a minute in. Mm -hmm. It hurts, mm. it hurts a lot. Mm -hmm. Despite the discomfort, Tori keeps going. I think I got this one deep. But you shouldn't. This is definitely one to not oh. try at home. Oh my God, you're swallowing it. Mm. Woo! I did it. Hey! Yeah! Busted! So it turns out this one is busted. You can eat a spoonful of cinnamon without drinking water. But whatever you do, do not try this at home. Seriously, not only is it painful, it is also very dangerous. In fact, hundreds of kids have ended up in the hospital attempting to do what we just did. Not only that, we had a doctor standing by, plus we had to get a medical examination before and after the experiment. Seriously, this is bad news. Looks like I win and lose at the same time. Congratulations. <laughs> Busters, who does your blueprint drawings?